Hey guys, uh, in our last video we learned about images and I'm going to talk about uh, checkboxes in this video. So let's just go ahead and add a content page and call it as checkboxes. And call it as checkboxes. Nice. And I'm going to get rid of this label here and change my startup page to check boxes awesome so what i'm gonna do here is add a checkbox with the checkbox tag and name this checkbox as cp check Samburn fan okay so what i'm trying to do here is i'm trying to ask user if you're a Samburn fan so are you a Xamarin fan? Xamarin fan. And make this font size as large. Awesome. So yeah, let's run this and see how it looks like. So when I run it, uh, Xamarin will add a label and a checkbox here. The reason why you're seeing this controls on top of each other is because we are using stack layout. In order to have your controls side by side, we kind of need grid layout. There are different kinds of layouts um, and you can go on Xamarin Forms documentation and choose your layout depending on what kind of app you're making. I'm going to dig deeper into those layouts in my future videos, but today I'm just going to use grid layout to explain how I can have uh, the checkboxes right next to each other. So to add grid layout, what I'm going to do is add a grid um, tag and grid row definitions. And for row definitions, I'm going to mention the height as by default height. And same, I'm going to do with the columns too. Let's just mention columns here, column definitions, nice. And to have column definition, I'm going to set width to by default. And to add these controls in our grid view, we have to copy them and paste in grid tag. And to we'll have to mention where do you want this label and the checkbox in so we want this label and grid view but we want it in row first and column first column first and this checkbox we want it in the second column with the same row so we're gonna mention the column name as one. Awesome. So let's just run this and see what, what it does. So when you run it, it will put the label in the first column and it will put the checkbox in the second column. But you can see that the screen is divided into two now and uh, it's divided in half. What we want is we want the first column to be longer than the second column. To do that, what you do is you define the first column as two times bigger, longer than the second column. And now let's just try to run this. There you go. So our label is in the first column, which is longer and our checkbox in the checks in the second column. Okay, so I'm not going to dig deeper into grid layout. Uh, I just wanted to show you how you can have control side by side. Um, I'm going to explore more about checkboxes. Um, so you can have is checked property set to you can use this property in code behind to is checked which will tell you if the checkbox is checked or not is enabled you can set to false if you don't want to enable your checkboxes you can also have is visible too uh, so those are the properties the event that i want to talk about is checked changed which is which gets triggered when 
you have when you change when you uh, check the checkbox so to see the effect of that what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add a label here and I'm gonna call it as LBL checkbox um, and I'm not gonna set any text to it but I'm gonna change the font size to large and I'm gonna go to this uh, event here I I pressed F12 uh, so if you that's the shortcut if you want you can either pre press F12 go to the text on the event and press F12 and go to the event and code behind or you can select highlight uh, this event and uh, press control comma and it'll list down the event where it is at and hit enter and it'll take you there so that's just you know shortcut for you uh, here this event gets thrown when the checkbox is checked or unchecked so what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna set get the event value if it's true means if the uh, checkbox is checked um, then I'm gonna say as awesome I am fan too me too and in else I'm gonna say label text uh, label text so what the hell what are you even doing here what are you even doing here question mark awesome so uh, what I'm trying to do here is when the checkbox is checked I'm saying that awesome you we are a fan of Xamarin too and if you are unchecking it then I'm gonna say like what are you even doing here <laughs> um, okay so let's run this and see what it does I'm gonna check this and I'll say oh awesome I'm fan too and when I uncheck it it's like what the hell what are you even doing here um, so that's how you can uh, you know catch the check and uncheck event uh, of uh, checkbox in Xamarin another thing that I want to talk about is you can bind a checkbox to a label here I'm gonna copy paste this piece of code and description I didn't want to type this but I will explain what's going on here so what's happening here is we have this checkbox and this checkbox uh, is triggering label to change its properties so if it's true then what we're saying is the font are attributes to be italic and bold and we are making the font size large and if we uncheck it then it's just going to be a normal text so we don't really have to go in code behind in order to change some text we can uh, we can change the properties and the text uh, of label or any other control we can bind it to um, and you know just uh, mess around with the properties there that's the beauty of Xamarin uh, the binding so let's run this and see how it looks like okay so when I this will work the same way but when I check this checkbox it will change the property of this text saying that it's large and it's bold and italic because that's what we do we didn't really write any code and code behind in order to make this change so yeah that's all you can do with checkboxes in Xamarin uh, in my next video I'm going to talk about uh, master detail pages so that you know the pages that we're adding will have a master detail page so that we can have this hamburger on toolbar to go into different pages and navigate uh, in different pages so uh, yeah stay tuned thanks for watching the video bye